Hi, I'm Burton Listerelli from the Asian American Studies 325 class, section 50. In Shanghai Calling, the viewer is presented with what seems like the American immigrant story in reverse. The main character, Sam, played by Daniel Henney, is, up and, is an up-and-coming New York lawyer who's never left the city before. When the law firm he works for wants to open an office in China in order to be closer to the clients there, Sam has chosen to go. Sam does not know any of the Chinese language or customs. As the story progresses, Sam meets another American expatriate named Amanda. She is a location specialist and helps Sam adjust to his new life in China. Eventually, as with all romantic comedies, Sam falls in love with Amanda. After a series of mishaps and miscommunications, Sam is forced to grow as a person and gets the girl. The comedy side of Shanghai Calling is quite good. Most of the film's best points are visual gags, and as Kenji Fujishima says in his review for Slate magazine, Hiza, working with a white frame, evinces a level of visual sophistication that every so often lends some freshness to the culture clash humor. The scene where the Awala office walls suddenly fall down to reveal the Chinese farmer and his chicken give the audience a clear idea of what Sam thinks China really is. In my experience meeting my Japanese relatives at their home in southern Japan, the difference in everyday norms are the things you notice first and find the most amusing and strange when interacting with a culture not your own. The scene where Awesome Wang and Sam are eating in the noodle shop and Wang assures Sam that no one will overhear them because no one understands English reminds me of the meals I had with my Japanese relatives. Things that seem strange like mat seating were commonplace to them. Also, like Sam, it's a funny feeling being the only one in the building that does not speak the same language. Though all of Sam's exposure to uh, Chinese customs, one of the major themes of Shanghai Calling is cultural change. Most of the characters, however, are static and one-dimensional. Even our main character, Sam, has culturally changed very little by the end of the film. The only major change he displays is a willingness to stay in China and to defend the Chinese manufacturer. The audience does not, to get, does not get to see Sam absorb much of the Chinese culture. He is still very much a New Yorker by the end of the film. I think these static characters are a byproduct of the romantic comedy form, film format. The writers have to keep the film quick and fun so they present easily understandable characters. This unfortunately undermines character development and leaves the characters feeling flat and one-dimensional. It would have just been a, it would be just as believable if the story had Sam and Amanda on their way back to the United States. Kenji Fujishima observes Sam's personal redemption and the eventual embrace of Shanghai have little to do with any growing social conscience and much more to do with utterly conventional romance that develops between him and Amanda. I couldn't agree more, but it's hard to fault a romantic comedy for not being too deep. Shanghai Calling is not so much an American immigrant story in reverse, but the story of an American who decides to live in China.